Remember the poster precept? Well, if you haven't seen our video on that, make sure you check it out up on electrifying.com. And now they've taken it just a tad bit further with the new poster O2 Roadster, and it looks fantastic. Look at it. But before I take you guys through it, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time we upload a new video up on the channel. Okay, starting with the front of the car, you can see a lot of the design language that we've seen already on the precept. And this is something that they're looking to extend further into the lineup of the future upcoming cars from Polestar. We have that Thor's Hammerhead headlights, as you can see straight away there. Up front, we have all the smarts hidden away, so like your LiDAR technology, they're all hidden away smartly on the front there. And they just get this nice, front blade here that looks really good and it just drops low to the ground you might have to be careful with this one when you're going up ramps but it looks fantastic we've got the logo there looks great and uh, i don't know it just blows my mind what they've done here over on the side the assertive look continues here it looks very minimalist and we have minimal overhangs and Everything is just aerodynamically friendly, starting from even the wing mirrors, the digital wing mirror here, which helps with the drag coefficient. And then we look on here as well, the wheels are designed to be aerodynamically friendly. And then you might not be able to see it, but if you look at it dead on from the side, this looks flat here. But as soon as you start moving over, you see that air duct that's on here to allow more airflow over the wheels, which is pretty smart what they've done there. And then you've got that design language of the way to write things on the car sort of reminds me of off-white design, if you guys know what that is. And uh, we go continue it on the side, it kind of just pushes in on here. And again, this acts as more aerodynamic to make this more efficient when it comes to the range that you get with the car. And it's just got this bold shoulders, which looks fantastic. We have the charging indicator light here, which sort of lights up when you're charging the car, lets you know when it's fully charged and so on. And then we go all the way to the back here. The design just continues there. We've got some minimal curvatures here and there, not too sharpy and you know, not too chiseled, which I kind of like. It makes it look more fun and friendly. It also shows you what Polestar are capable of doing in terms of moving that precept design into different body shapes and different sizes. This is a two plus two uh, setup here. So it assures us that we're not just gonna be seeing saloons and stuff like that, we can see, we can get a Roadstar in the same design DNA. We move on to the back of the car. Things look very familiar if you've seen the precept already. And we have the light bar here that acts as air blades to reduce air turbulence on the back, which again helps with aerodynamics and range, which is really good. And also the dynamic driving, when you're driving and stuff, you want that to feel very planted and comfortable. And uh, that's exactly what that helps with. We look below, it looks fantastic as well. You got all this nice aerodynamically designed area on the back here, and it doesn't look as low to the ground as it is on the front, but again, that's to do with the design. Where things get interesting though, is this area here where you get to your own autonomous drone with the car. That's the first time I've seen that on any car at all. If you've seen that before, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I need to check it out. But on this particular car, this area is designed so your drone would get released autonomously here. It will slide through to the back and then you can release it into the air to sort of capture your car whilst you're driving. So if you're taking around to the countryside, you might want to capture yourself, just enjoying yourself and share it on social media. And if you go and take it out on a track day, for example, you can also set the drone to capture it in more action sequence. So you'll be able to get it looking nice and fast on a track day, which is kind of interesting. And what you can also do with that is, which we'll talk about more, is on the big screen in the middle, you can then edit it, you can share it directly to your social media accounts, which is pretty cool, right? On the inside of the Poster O2 Roadster concept is where technology meets sustainability. Starting with the technology on the inside, we have your digital side mirrors that gets projected onto the side here. So naturally where your line of sight would be. So that looks fantastic. I love that. And then we also have your steering wheel here, which is nice and minimalist all around here. There's not too many buttons to distract you when you're driving. We have your instrument cluster, which is wide enough so you can see all the important information. Uh, so things like your battery level, things like your speed, uh, which is vital. And this will also have that precept technology, which is things like your head tracking and all that stuff, which is pretty cool. Then we look at the center console area, which is nice and minimal again. It's got that floaty sort of look there. We've got the media control in the middle, one single button and rotary dial. 
and we've got that big display in the center. Whilst this supports things like your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, this is Android based as well. So this supports Google Assistant built in, which is pretty snazzy. What we also have is that drone that was on the back. Will you be able to control things to do with that here? So you see information like how much battery is left in the drone, where it's flying, what kind of style you're recording, whether it's a cinematic or that action driven sort of style. Or if you want to edit your videos, you'd be able to do that just on that console. So they've thought about everything, the process of flying out the drone and actually editing the content to be ready to send to your phone and then share it on your social media accounts, which would be pretty cool. People will think you're a videographer by the time this comes out. And then we talk about the sustainability elements, this as a new 3D thermoplastic mono material. You see that element all around the interior of the car from the 3D nets to the foam that's used all around the car. It's just really well thought through. And even the chassis, that uni aluminum body that's used, the platform that's used on here is based on various types of different aluminum to make sure that this is nice and rigid and dynamic when you're driving it on road while still staying nice and light. I love the seats as well. They just looks comfortable and they will hold you into the seat when you're driving and taking corners and all that kind of stuff, which is very important. But let's just take a moment, just look at it. It's got Bowles and Wilkins sound system in there. You got wireless charging plates. It just looks nice and zen in here, which is what Polestar is all about. Minimalist design while still remaining very functional. Whilst we don't know all the information in regards to speed and range and brake horsepower, all that jazz, what we do know is this is closely matched to the Polster 5, which was the precept. And that means 800 brake horsepower, 600 miles in terms of range on the WLTP cycle. And all that side, what I really love is the look of this guy. It just looks fantastic, including this color that they've got here. I hope they actually release this in this particular color as well. And elsewhere, we've got sustainability, which is encouraging. It's all about being premium as well. This is the sort of car you get to drive down the countryside on a nice summer day and just get the wind blowing through your hair and just enjoying the ride. And then maybe send a drone out, which can travel at up to 90 kilometers per hour. So whilst you're driving at speed, you can keep up with you and capture the moment as well so you can remember it. I mean, what's not to like about it?